Question 7 is just an extension of question 6. In question 6, we had said list the height and weight of students from the state of MN, Minnesota. This time we are saying, well, I am not interested only in one state. Keep all the students who are either from Minnesota or from New Jersey. Okay? So, if a student's state column contains a value of either MN or NJ, then keep it. In the last question, we kept only MN. We left everything else. This time, we are saying if it is MN or NJ, keep it. Okay? So, obviously, the select and from are going to be exactly the same as before. Same table, same columns. The from clause is going to be slightly different. I mean, the where clause. So, here we are saying where and the where clause now includes not only the state of Minnesota, but also the state of New Jersey. So, we are simply saying where state equals MN or state equals NJ. As simple as that, right. So, when you have an OR clause, it means the exact same thing as what OR means in English. Either this condition is satisfied or this condition is satisfied. It obviously also means if both are satisfied, then include it or keep it. Now, remember, sometimes people just write where state equal to MN or NJ instead of saying state equals MN or state equals NJ. Okay? You have to say that. You have to say state equals MN or state equals NJ. You can't just say state equals MN or NJ. You have to mention state for both of those values. That is a common mistake that people make. So, beware of that. That is all with respect to question number 7.